what's up everyone so we're going to continue deploying ice 3.1 and more precisely what we're going to do is to uh, make ice join the active directory domain so let's get right into it so we're going to click here on menu and we go over uh, administration identity management external identity sources and we're going to click on active directory and we're going to add so first we will give a name so just what is the joint point name and name it bold tech and now we're going to give uh, our domain name boltech.com going to submit and now it's going to ask us to join ice nodes to the active directory you're going to select yes now we're going to provide uh the admin uh credentials and i want to start the credentials and we're going to press ok and the node status is completed and we can close so let's fetch some groups uh from the active uh directory so we can select add select groups from directory and let's just retrieve all the groups uh essentially we're going to get um it users and domain users so that should be domain computers domain users and IT. So we're just going to select these two. Okay, we press OK. And we're going to save it. Now we're going to make eyes as a TACAC server uh, so that we can test uh, device access or management with the users in the active domain. So this is the policy we're going to use. Uh, we're going to deploy. Uh, on the switch so let's begin by creating a network device group so we should go to network device group and we want to add device group uh, which is and it's going to be part of all device types we're going to save this and now we're going to add the switch as a network device we we'll click on add and give it a name switch 70 and its ip is going to be 10 1 70 70 and device type this is going to be part of switches and we want to select the cax and here we will type the shared key let me type again. Let's confirm the password. Okay. And that's it. So let's confirm name, IP, and device type. And TACAX is enabled. So we're going to submit. Okay. And the next thing we want is to deploy uh, the TACAX profiles. So that one user has different privilege than the other one so we go to work centers device administration uh and policy elements and before that actually we have to enable uh device admin on ice nodes so that should go on system deployment node is in standalone yes firm so we're going to change eyes definition we're going to enable device admin service uh, and yes we're just going to confirm that and we're going to save okay so now let's go back to work center and device admin policy sets and we want also elements results tacax profiles and we're going to create two tacax profiles and 
first one we will name it privilege level one i'm just going to name it privilege one okay and common test type is going to be shell default privilege will be one and maximum will be 15. and we're going to submit and we're going to create uh, we're going to duplicate this one real so we're going to duplicate and we're going to name it privilege privilege that was it was looking so weird and we're going to change the default privilege to 15. So default will be 15 and the maximum 15. And we have to edit. This is very nice, but it's a bit annoying. Uh, okay, so privilege one. So let's edit this. Okay, and we're going to save. Okay, so these Tagax profiles, they will be applied once the user is authenticated and to be authorized. So now back to device admin policy sets. Uh, we're going to add a new one above. We're going to say uh, i31 uh, policy. And the conditions will be uh, if it's coming from a switch okay I want to use it so we're going to select uh, default device admin and we're going to save this now let's add the authentication policy it will be all user ID stores as for authorization uh, we're going to add a new one so we're going to name it uh, for admins or just say it staff the condition is if uh let's say external groups it's an it user so apply this profile are we going to duplicate this one below uh if it's just a domain user edit this and we're going to change from users it to domain users so any user that is not part of it is going to fall into this category and we're going to assign privilege one and we're going to save this and we can monitor um once the requests uh, arrive on eyes by going to go to policy operations and takax live logs okay so now let's uh configure the switch uh to support uh and takax so, okay so first we're going to enable a new model and we're going to create the Takax uh, server. Let's name it eyes. And address IPv4 will be 10 uh, 1 70 21. And the key will be CCIE 65745. Okay, actually, let's confirm. Okay, so I have to assign an IP address this switch and now let's see if it can reach uh ice that's going to be 21 so it can so right now i just have to adjust my nick on ice so that it can reach uh the switch okay now the switch can reach ice so we can continue and we already configured uh, ICE as TACAC server. So now we're going to create a group. 
for tech hacks i'm going to name an ice server and the server name will be ice and we're going to exit now we're going to create a authentication login and we're going to name as uh, of authentication list let's keep it simple and it's going to call the group i server and if it fails use local uh, user as for authorization exact will be uh, the authentication list and the group will be i server and if it fails use local as for going to do authentication or enable as well I'm going to rely on the fault method list and I'm going to use i server and for enable and lastly i want accounting I'm going to use the default method list so when i start stops and the group will be uh, ice server now we're going to apply this to terminal uh line you say login authentication and it's going to be uh alt list and for authorization exact use the same authentication list and transport inputs for telnet only okay let's confirm that everything is okay authorization exact and authentication okay so should be able to reach uh, r7 and again that's awesome so now let's bring r7 and test this configuration i try to ping so to telnet to 7070 so it provides selesio it's a user in ad and it works we check the privilege is 15. now if we use another one carvalho we check the password carvalho is a user only is not part of it uh his privilege it's more restricted so let's try to change and we can if we run show privilege so right now is current uh is 15. so we can check the logs on ice so we see that is hitting our authentication policy so let's refresh this we can see okay so we can see so it's hitting our policy ice 3 one policy and let's check this into more details so we can see the authentication was successful because it met uh, uh the condition and the user was fetched from uh the active directory so we can see that the workflow is the same uh for iStudio 4 and we don't see major changes at least for this part so if you watched my previous videos yeah you should be uh comfortable uh with at least uh this type of configurations so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you on the next one